Stuart Wallaby here in Blue Sector 6, somewhere in the Australian lines, where no less than five minutes ago, a red German triplane, smoking badly and definitely in trouble, passed overhead and then went down in some hills between the lines of no man's land. First reports indicate that the down tripe was piloted by none other than Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron himself. We have no way of confirming this, but the general consensus is that no one could have survived the crash as a large fireball was seen coming up from the hills where the plane went down. Radio Berlin has emphatically denied that the bad was dead. They do admit that Richthofen's plane was brought down, but they insist that he made good his escape and will soon fly again and rid the skies of the Allies. If indeed the Baron is dead, the planned Allied offensive might proceed on schedule. Here now, from Red Sector 1, somewhere behind the lines, is an on-the-scene interview with a pilot who actually took part in the air battle this morning. This is Pierre Leclerc from Red Sector 1, somewhere behind the lines. And with me today is one of the Allied pilots who was in the air doing today's battle with the Richthofen Flying Circus. Tell me, sir, did you see Richthofen's plane go down? Right, you are, Garvey went down like a shot through the clouds in a camel on his tail, giving it to him proper. Uh, yes, but did you see the plane crash? I mean, no, Gov. I was a bit busy right about then with two of them blighters on my own tail. As you can see, reports from the battle zone are non conclusive. The Allied offensive must begin. The Red Baron must be kept from the skies. Time is running out. As the whole world wonders, what has become of the Red Baron? <laughs>